Arsenal beat Crystal Palace 1-0. I want to go over some of the shocking refereeing decisions. Let's first take a look at the Thomas Party potential non-penalty, right? And Ketia goes through, and for me, it's a clear penalty. But let's take a look at Thomas Party over here. So the issue was, did he foul the defender? So if we look at it from this angle, he's holding the defender, but the question remained, would the defender get back in time to catch Eddie Nketiah? For me, no. It was 100% a penalty, and it was not a foul by Thomas Partey. But that's as good as it got for Arsenal regarding the referee. Now I'm going to show you the Tomoyasu second yellow card. Keep in mind, I am not an Arsenal fan. So, let's take a look at this. This is the incident in question. This is how close they are. Are you is on the wrong side. So the ball come over the top, I'm gonna play for you frame by frame. So Ayu is leaning on Tomoyasu right now, neither one is doing anything wrong. Let's keep going, keep going, right there. You see his arm? Tomoyasu's arm is now making contact with Ayu. Again, completely fine. And you see his arm there? Let's go back. See his arm? Still got his arm on there, but look where his face is looking. He's not even looking at Ayu. That arm is in very much a natural position. And if you look at it from this angle, there, you see the arm? There's contact. But look at his face. His face is looking at the ball. He is not looking at Ayu. He has no intention to bring him back. The fact that that is a second yellow card is a disgraceful decision. It worked out for Arsenal in the end because they did win this game, but the referee did them no favours with this. For me, I'm a Liverpool fan. The McAllister yellow card um, against... Um, what was it? Who do we play? Bloody... I forgot who we played. We beat them 3-1. Um, the McAllister yellow card was never... Uh, the red card, it was never a red card. This decision is far worse. So now I want to talk about the Eze penalty. For me, this was not a penalty. So he sends Declan Rice back to the Conference League. But then when he comes one-on-one -on -one with Thomas Partey... So there, you see the legs are about to make contact now? There's, there's a gap. You see the gap in between the legs? That's not a penalty. Keep going. That's not a penalty. Okay, so let me play it frame by frame. So the legs, no contact. It's almost contact. There's still a gap in between the two legs. There's contact right there. But that's normal contact. That's natural contact. Have a look at Party's leg as the contract continues. Keep going. See how his leg comes out? His leg is in. Sorry, his leg is out. Now it comes in. Out. In. That's him pulling his leg away. This was not a penalty. And look at his motion. There was no intent. He tried pulling out. Eze forced the contact. Should have been a yellow card in my opinion for Eze. Now in terms of the game stats, in the first half, Arsenal had the majority of the ball. For me, they fully deserved to win this game. Nine shots, but only one on target. And Ketia, I mean the one on target is a bit misleading. Obviously it's a fact, but what I mean is, it seemed like they had more shots on target because Nketiah did have a few chances. His lack of finishing was a problem. As for Palace, they showed nothing going forward, but I think that was their game plan. But if you go on to the second half, it seems a bit more even, but it's because of the second yellow. Palace with nine goal attempts in the second half. Again, it seemed like there was a big onslaught. There really wasn't up until the yellow card. Uh, Gabriel comes on. I think he came on. He didn't start, right? Um, and then Martinelli went off, etc, etc. Arsenal became more defensive and in the end, they grinded it out. They fully, fully deserved this victory. Palace did as much as they could have. This is where they are right now. But this referee was well and truly shocking. And another week in the Premier League where a referee is ruining the game. I don't blame referees. I always blame our players. If Liverpool do not win, we didn't win because Darwin missed a chance or Salah missed a chance, or Trent went missing at right back, or whatever, right? But that doesn't mean referees can't get called out. This was shocking, it was disgraceful, um, and Arsenal are looking like champions against Forest. They were brilliant in the first half, and Langer comes on, changes the game a little bit, Arsenal hang on. In this game, they were dominant, they were um, cruising, if you ask me, and then a referee comes along, decided to ruin the game, and then they hung on in the end. So... The hallmark of champions is playing good, but also grinding it out. So, you know, Declan Rice, can they win this year? Who knows? Either way, Arsenal, well done.